वेलकम बैक टू शेन एंड मी द रेन एंड द बैर वंस अपॉन अ टाइम इन द सम बैर एंड वर्ल्फ वर टेकिंग अ वॉक इन अ वर्ड वेन द बैर हर्ड अ बर्ड सिंगिंग मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुली एंड ही सेड ब्रदर वर्ल्फ वॉट काइंड ऑफ बर्ड इज दैट सिंगिंग सो ब्यूटिफुली That is the king of the birds, and we must go down to it. But really, it was a wren. If that is so, said the bear, I should like to see his royal palace. Come, you must take me to it. That's not so easy, said the wolf. You must wait till the queen comes. Soon after, the queen made her appearance, bringing food in her beak. and the king came with her to feed the little ones the bear would have liked to go in at once but the wolf held him by the sleeve and said no now you must wait till the king and queen fly away again so they marked the opening of the nest and trudged on but the bear had no rest till he could see the royal palace and before long he went back the king and the queen had gone out again he peeped in and saw five or six young ones lying in the nest is that the royal palace cried the bear what a miserable place and do you mean to say that you are royal children you must be changelings When the young wrens heard this they were furious and shrieked No indeed we are not our parents are honest people we must have this out with you The bear and the wolf were very much frightened they turned round and ran home to their dens But the young wrens continued to shriek and scream aloud and when their parents came back with more food they said we want that so much as a leg of a fly even if we starve till you tell us whether we are really your lawful children or not the bear has been here calling us names then said the old king only be quiet and this shall be seen too thereupon he and his wife the queen flew off to the bear in his den and called in to him old bruin why have you been calling our children names it will turn out badly for you and it will lead to a bloody war between us so war was declared and all the four-footed animals were called together the ox the ass the cow the stag the roe deer and every other creature on earth but the wren called together every creature which flew in the air not only birds both large and small but also the gnats the hornets the bees and the flies when the time came for the war to begin the wren sent out scouts to discover where the commanding generals of the enemy were to be found the gnats were the most cunning of all they swarmed in the wood where the enemy were assembled and at last they hid themselves under a leaf of the tree where the orders were being given the bear called the fox up to him and said you are the slyest of all the animals reynard you shall be our general and lead us very good said the fox but what shall we have for a signal but nobody could think of anything then said the fox I have a fine long bushy tail which almost looks like a red feather brush when i hold my tail erect things are going well and you must march forward at once but if it drops but if it droops you must all run away as hard as ever you can when the gnats heard this they flew straight home and told the wrens every detail When the day broke all the four-footed animals rushing to the spot where the battle was to take place they came with such a tramping that the earth shook 
The Ren and his army also came swarming through the air. They fluttered and buzzed enough to terrify him. And then they made for one another. The Ren sent the hornet down with orders to seat herself under the tail of the fox and to sting him with all her might. When the fox felt the first sting, he quivered and raised one leg in the air. But he bore it bravely and kept his tail erect. At the second sting, he was forced to let it droop for a moment. But the third time, he could bear it no longer. He screamed and down went his tail between his legs. When the animals saw this, they thought all was lost. And off they ran helter-skelter as fast as they could go, each to his own den. So the birds won the battle. When it was over, the king and the queen flew home to their children and cried, Children, be happy. Eat and drink to your heart's content. We have won the battle. But the young wren said, We won't eat till the bear comes here to make an apology and says that we are really and truly your lawful children. The wren flew to the bear's den and cried, Old Bruin, you will have to come and apologize to my children for calling them names or else you will have all your ribs broken. So in great terror the bear crept to the nest and apologized and at last the young wrens were satisfied and they ate and drank and made merry till far into the night. Thank you.